Hello guys, Red Baron here with Red Bear Models, and I have just finished up the F14D Super Tomcat by Ravel, and I have a new model here. Uh, this is my first Russian. It is the MiG 23 MLD by Zvezda. Boy, that's the right pronunciation. I am not Russian, so I cannot read that top part. Uh, now it's a fighter bomber, uh, and much like the F-14D, it was a swivel wing, but it was a single engine. And it's in 170 second scale. It just says model kit there, and maybe that says, yeah, made in Russia. So it's definitely Russian. Uh, a Russian company. Yeah. Make, make the same turns of Russian. Then we got some other, some more of the products. I kind of want to do the alligator. Uh, and the fox bat. Or is that fox hound? My bad. But yeah. Oh, you got those. You know, uh, the different types of paints. There's humble paint and then there's whatever that is. I can't. I, to me, Russian is just a bunch of symbols that I cannot read. So. Oh yes, if you guys were guessing what was in the box, I, I, I haven't posted that video, so I can't do much of a reaction for it, and I just tore the, the top of my box off. Uh, I remember in one of my videos, if you get the post, uh, as of recording this, is what's in the box. Well, we're about to find out what's in the box today. Well, you guys just found out what was in the box, but... Okay, this is what you get when you open it up. Here we have some decals. All in Russian, by the way. You see, Russian, definitely. And you get the clear parts. That's one, one screen, the top part of the canopy and the rear part of the canopy. Looks like we got some lights and some gun sights. We have the instructions. I'll go over that here in a minute. <coughs> okay, there's two pieces of sprue. That is the rear part of the fuselage, the center piece. Then you got the the right right side and left side cock, cockpit section. You have the engine and the nose cone. You have Soviet missiles. Uh, because I believe this was back when the Soviet Union was still Soviet Union. Uh, air intakes, bombs, rudder, vertical stabilizer, uh, guide rails for the missile, okay here we have the top half, center half of the, of the fuselage, we have both wings, we have the horizontal stabilators, air brakes, tires, it looks like, more guide rails, uh, landing gear, wheels, uh, take a drop tank, injector seat, which has not that much detail to it. You know, I totally missed the cockpit floor. Instrument panel. Control stick. Don't know what that is. Uh, probably some external stuff. But yeah, that was what was in the box. Uh, I'm going to get to the instructions now. Let me put everything up. Okay, so this is giving a little bit of the history. I love the box art, actually. Uh, it says, the Soviet sophisticated modification of the MiG-23 fighter was created at the end of the 70s. This aircraft has a modified fuselage and is equipped with upgraded electronics and able to detect hostile anti-aircraft better 
the batteries. It makes the fighter more more efficient for its air to ground rule. The MiG-23 MLD was widely used during the Afghan the Afghan war. Uh, Afghanistan war, however you want to pronounce it. Okay. Uh, attention, useful advice. Yeah, study instructions. Yeah, you have some really loosely drawn instructions on how to build the kit. Uh, one thing I do have to note on the instructions, it is mostly all Russian. Uh, so if you speak Russian, great. Uh, if you don't, you got, you got some learning to do. <laughs> now, some areas underneath it, it says what to do in English. <laughs> I don't include parts 17 and 18, just include parts 1 and 2. That type of stuff. And you have the construction of the bombs. Uh, there are rockets, whatever you're going to put on it. I'm probably going to do rockets. On the back we have the paint scheme. I have these cool marks on these squares, but I don't see them on the, on the thing. And then you have the paint guide. Right here. But yeah, nice little kit. Uh, it should be fun to build. Uh, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna start on it here in a minute. Uh, so, see you guys here in a minute.